everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to do the AP Environmental Science FRQ from the year 2011, and this is question number 2C. So please take a second to pause the video, read through the question, and then meet me back here for the problem solve. Okay, so part one asks us to calculate the current annual global increase in volume in meters cubed of CaCO3 in coral reefs. Show all steps in your calculations. Okay, so our givens are of course above. So let's look at what do we know. First of all, we know the global area. We know that that is the 2.5 times 10 to the 11th meters squared really pay attention to your units here. These are super, super important. And I know we wanna get into meters cubed. That's kind of why I'm highlighting that area is of course in meters squared. Now, if we look at our second given, we know that coral reefs grow only vertically and that the average vertical growth rate of corals is three millimeters per year. Okay, so why do we care? What is this telling us? Well, if you think about the volume of really any figure, so just kind of the general volume, in order to find it, you take the area of whatever the base shape is and then you multiply it by the height. So if you think about these two givens here, that's basically what we're given. We're given the area of the base figure, which is this 2.5 times 10 to the 11th. So actually I'm gonna go ahead and write that out now. So 2.5 times 10 to the 11th meters squared. And then we're effectively given the height, right? Because they only grow vertically and then we have the vertical growth rate. So we're gonna take this and we are gonna multiply it by the three millimeters per year. So we are now getting closer. Notice that the years, it doesn't really matter because we are looking for the annual global increase. But if you look at our meters, we need to get to meters cubed. And right now we have meters squared times millimeters. So close, but not quite there. So now let's go ahead and convert these millimeters into meters. So there are one times 10 to the third millimeters in one meter. And that's just using simple metric conversions. And then now from here, I'm gonna go ahead and cancel out my units. And look, now my units work, which is basically confirming that my setup is correct because now I have millimeter squared, I'm sorry, meters squared times meters, which is meters cubed. And then I basically have per year, which that's kind of optional because it's asking for the annual global increase, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there. So now let's go ahead and simply multiply 2.5 times 10 to the 11th times three is just 7.5 times 10 to the 11th. But then since I'm dividing by this 10 to the third down there, I'm gonna go ahead and subtract my exponents. I'm kind of skipping steps here, so feel free to plug this into your calculator. I just find it a little bit easier to actually do it without the calculator. So basically from here, after I had my 7.5 times 10 to the 11th, that divided by 10 to the third would end up giving me 7.5 times 10 to the eighth meters cubed per year. Okay, great, now let's move on to part two and keep that number in mind or keep it written down because we are going to need it for the following questions. This part asks us to calculate the annual global increase in mass in kilograms of CaCO3 and coral reefs. Okay, so let's take a look at our third given now. Now we are given the average density. What is the formula for density? I like to remember it as DMV. So density equals mass divided by volume. We can simply rearrange this by multiplying both sides by the volume, and we will get mass equals density times volume. So now again, we solved it for mass because that's what we're looking for. We're given our density. So our density is two times 10 to the third, kilograms per meter cubed. And then we have to think back to our answer for part one, which gave us the annual increase in volume. So that was 7.5 times 10 to the eighth meters cubed per year. Okay, so now again, we have multiplied our density times our volume. Let's go ahead and cancel out our units to make sure we are in a good place. And then let's go ahead and multiply. Okay, so two times 7.5 is just 15 
times 10 to the 11th kilograms per year. But now let's put this in proper scientific notation by moving the decimal one to the left. So that would become 1.5 times, and I realize, I don't know why I did 10 to the eighth. That should be 10 to the 11th because eight plus three is 11. So now that I've corrected that, this would become 1.5 times 10 to the 12th kilograms per year. There we go. Okay, great, let's move on to part three. Okay, so part three says, because of ocean acidification, it is expected that in 2050, the mass of CaCO3 deposited annually in coral reefs will be 20% less than is deposited currently. Calculate how much less CaCO3 in kilograms is expected to be deposited in 2050 than would be deposited if ocean pH were to remain at its current value. Okay, so now basically all we have to do is we know from part B we have our mass of 1.5 times 10 to the 12th kilograms. Again, that's annually or per year. And if we were to deposit 20% less than that, we would just take this and multiply it by 0.2 to get that 20%. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna think of 1.5 times two, which is three, but really this is 0.2. So that would actually give me 0.3 times 10 to the 12th kilograms of CaCO3. But then I have to put this in proper scientific notation. So I'm gonna move my decimal one to the right and this would then become three times 10 to the 11th kilograms of CaCO3. There we go, awesome. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.